No luck. It's a dead end. Thanks for coming with me on another weekly adventure. This week we're taking adventures with three of my favorite things. Forest. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, good trees. Fish. This is another salmon run video. And fungi. I'm going mushroom hunting in the See you later. Night. So exciting. it was super exciting to just run into the trees and you know when you're not at home there's something exciting about walking through a wet forest that's just not as thrilling when you're just in your back garden it was really nice I found this little swing and I brought out my little inner kid it is. It's really hard to tell what's a trail and what's just like open space because this is an unofficial one I guess. No luck. It's a dead end. Doesn't go anywhere, and I'm not willing to get any wetter. Whoa. I've been really excited about putting this video together and sharing it with you. I filmed this in September, and now it's almost a whole month later. Since then, my GoPro has died, and now my laptop, so. Although I've committed to making regular videos, it's been quite a journey, so it's really exciting to see this footage coming together and sharing it with you. Elk <laughs> Falls is just a magnificent waterfall. The sheer quantity of water just Flowing through there was incredible. It's like it's boiling. You might have seen earlier they have increased the flow. The Elk Falls flows directly into the Campbell River and they are increasing the water flow as it starts to rain and the waters come into the river slowly as to not to disrupt the salmon nesting beds. It did mean, however, when swimming later on that the current was flowing so much faster than when we'd sw swum earlier in August. Last time there was like three times as many people on the shore. Yeah.
like fish carcass and it's probably relatively fresh. <sighs> Decent depth too. So cool to dive down and find things like that. I do think the fish are aware of my dark shadow and disappeared. All those ones that we saw in the first part when I jumped in and they kind of moved away pretty quickly. They're very aware of predators. Yeah.
There's something to be said for the skin tingling hoot of an owl and the crunch of the forest and how alive you feel going for mushrooms in the middle of the night. Everything orange is an edible mushroom. These definitely aren't. heaps of mushrooms but it's enough for a couple of meals these are my favorites i've never they feel so weird of cauliflowers i've never found one before i'm so excited <gasps> hi everyone me here i just wanted to check in it's lunchtime, and i wanted to show you two things i made a huge batch of tomato relish and with all those mushrooms I foraged, I wanted to see, show you how I'm going to eat them today. Mushrooms for lunch. I'm very excited. So what I have here is chanterelles, lightly fried, some crispy tofu, some tomato relish on a little gluten-free bun, some dairy-free mozzarella, some fresh basil from a local farm, and I'm going to put it all together and eat it. I'm, I'm very excited about this. It's going to be delicious. Yay! So here are my mushrooms that I've collected. I made three punnets and this is basically another whole one. from my garden I had so many that it was just absolutely time to make them all into something delicious so I can have it in min during winter somehow when you wake up to a morning like this being woken up at 6 a.m. in the morning by a mouse 
is a tiny bit more forgivable.